Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I discuss some thermodynamics problem from first and second law of thermodynamics part 2 which is important for MSc entrance test. So please see this video very carefully. First problem from net physics, a given quantity of gas is taken from the state A to C reversibly by two path A to C directly and A to B to C as shown in figure that during the process A to C, the work done by the gas is 100 Joule. So the process from A to C, work done by the gas is 100 Joule and heat absorbed is 150 Joule. If during the process A to B to C means in this process, the work done by the gas is 30 Joule, what is the heat absorb it is 20 joule 80 joule 220 joule 280 joule so we know from the first law of thermodynamics dq is equal to du plus dw so here dq is given 150 and dw is 100 joule so du is equal to we can write dq minus dw so we can write dq means 150 minus 100 joule so 50 joule now we know the internal energy is a point function that means internal energy will be same in all path so for the path a to C internal energy which is 50 Joule which is equal to when it is changed from A to B to C. So for the path A, B, C we can write dQ is equal to du plus dW. So here dW is 30 Joule so and du we calculate 50 Joule so dQ equal to 50 plus 30 joule that means 80 joule so the heat absorb is 80 joule another problem from net physics question the internal energy E of a system is given by E is equal to B S Q divided by B into N where B is the constant and other symbol have their usual meanings the temperature of this system P is equal to B A square by B N, 3 B A square by B N, B S Q by B square N, S by N whole square, where S is the entropy, P is the volume. So we know from the first and second law of thermodynamics, we can write T D S equal to D E plus P D V. So we can write D E is equal to TDS minus PDV. So if we differentiate it with respect to S at constant V then we can write del E by del S at constant V which is equal to T because V constant means dV equal to 0. So here given E is equal to BSQ divided by VN. So if you calculate DE by DS at constant V which is equal to if we differentiate it we get 3B square by VN so which is equal to T so T is equal to 3B square by VN so option B is correct Next problem, a cavity contains black body radiation in equilibrium at temperature T. The specific heat per unit volume of the photon gas in the cavity is of the form Cb is equal to gamma t to the power q, where gamma is the constant. The cavity is expanded to 
twice its original volume and then allowed to equilibrate at same temperature T the new internal energy per unit volume is 4 gamma t to the power 4, 2 gamma t to the power 4, gamma t to the power 4, gamma t to the power 4 by 4. So we know change in internal energy du is equal to CVDT that we discuss in this class. So du is equal to CVDT where CV is equal to gamma t to the power cube. So internal energy at constant volume um, so u is equal to total internal energy integration of du equal to cv dt integration so u is equal to integration gamma t to the power q dt so if we differentiate it we get gamma t to the power 4 by 4 so so the new internal energy per unit volume is gamma t to the power 4 by 4 now we discuss another important problem so problem when an ideal monoatomic gas is expanded adiabatically from an initial volume v0 to 3v0 its temperature changes from t0 to t then the ratio of t by t0 is 1 by 3 1 by 3 whole to the power 2 by 3 1 by 3 whole to the power 1 by 3 3 so for adiabatic process we know P V to the power gamma is equal to constant that we know and also we know for one mole of an ideal gas P V equal to R T so if we put this value then we get T and V all to the power gamma minus 1 equal to constant so here the volume changes from V0 to 3 V0 and temperature changes from T0 to T so we can write in this equation t0 v0 to the power gamma minus 1 equal to t into 3 v0 to the power gamma minus 1 so if we calculate it we get t is equal to t0 into v by 3 v0 whole to the power gamma minus 1 so sorry v0 divided by v0 v0 cancel to each other so we get t0 into 1 by 3 all to the power gamma minus 1 and also we know for an monoatomic gas ideal monoatomic gas the value of gamma which is equal to 5 by 3 so gamma minus 1 which is equal to 5 minus 5 by 3 minus 1 that means it is 2 by 3 so the value of T is equal to T0 into 1 by 3 equal to the power 2 by 3. So the ratio of T by T0 which is equal to we can write 1 by 3 whole to the power 2 by 3. So 1 by 3 whole to the power 2 by 3 means option B is correct. This is very important problem. Another important problem from net physics a thermodynamics function g equal to u minus ts plus pv is given by in the term of internal energy u temperature t entropy s pressure p volume v and the number of particles is n so which of the following relation is true entropy s equal to minus del g by del t at constant n p a is equal to del G by del T at constant N P, B is equal to del G by del P at constant N T, mu is equal to minus del G by del N at constant P T, where mu is the chemical potential. So we know G is equal to by here given G is equal to U minus T S plus P V. So which option is correct that we calculate? So if we differentiate it, we get dg equal to du minus tds minus stt plus pdv plus pdp so if we know from the first and second law of thermodynamics if we put this value we get dg equal to tds minus pdv 
माइनस टी डी एस माइनस एस टी टी प्लस पी डी वी प्लस भी डी पी सो टी डी एस टी डी एस कैंसिल टू इच्छा पी डी वी पी डी वी कैंसिल टू इच्छा था सो डी जी इक्वल टू माइनस एस टी टी प्लस भी इनटू डी पी सो वी वांट द रिलेशन सो इफ वी कैलकुलेट एस दैट मींस इफ वी डिफरेंशिएट इट विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टी सो वी गेट माइनस डेल जी बाई डेल टी एट कांस्टेंट एट कांस्टेंट पी एंड एन सो वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑप्शन बी ऑप्शन डेल जी बाई डेल टी एट कांस्टेंट एन पी दैट मींस ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट सो